Possibly the most truly beautiful thing about movies and the fandom that surrounds it is that no matter what your socioeconomic, sexual orientation, ethnic, national background happens to be, the power of stories and the movies that tell them transcends all of that and really unifies us to gather together as we listen and tell stories about the way the world is, the way we hope it can be, movies that express our dreams, our fears, the evils in the world and the goods in the world, and it becomes a rallying point for all of us. And while it's been said many times that movies provide an escape for us from the real world and the problems that it holds, I've always liked to think of movies and its surrounding fandom as an oasis. Something that, yes, we can escape into for a short time, but while we escape into the world of stories, we give our mind and mental state a rest, and when we come out of it, it's not that our real-world problems aren't there anymore, it's just that maybe we're a little bit better equipped to deal with them. We feel more refreshed, we feel more focused, and maybe, because of the stories, with a little bit of a different perspective. It's for that reason that a lot of times in my life when things have been hard, that movies have always been that great oasis for me. And from all the people who have written into the show over the years to tell their stories about how movies and the movie fan communities have been there for them. And right now, we as a nation, as a world, are facing such challenging, difficult, and problematic situations. Problems and situations that, for this moment at least, transcend the idea of a two hour long movie talk show. So in deference to everything that's going on in our communities, in our cities, in our country, in our world, tomorrow on Monday, we are not going to do a regular episode of the John Campia show. Now, for all of you who have sent in questions to be addressed on tomorrow's show, I will do a pre-recorded video that addresses all of them out of respect for all you guys who sent in those questions. But for tomorrow, there will be no live John Campia show at its regular time. However, one might be able to say that now more than ever, we need to have those opportunities as a film fan community to even just for an hour or two, get together and focus on those things, those stories, those dreams, and just talk about those for a little while. Because of that, the John Campia Show will return on Tuesday so that we as a film fan community can have that oasis where we can get together just for a moment and have our minds refreshed and renewed as we go back out and then face the real challenges facing our world. I think now, maybe more than ever, the power of movies and the fan communities that surround it are needed. With that said, before I sign off and we come back on Tuesday, let me leave you with one more thought. If you are somebody who has felt victimized, if you are somebody who has felt marginalized, if you are somebody who feels like the rules have not been in your favor and have worked against you, no matter if you're somebody who loves Star Wars or hates Star Wars, whether you're somebody who's a part of the fandom menace or somebody who's a part of the Harry Potter fan club, I just wanted to let everybody who's watching this know right now that you are one of us, that you belong, that your voices should be heard. And maybe we can't solve any of those problems by talking about movies, but in this place, in these communities, you belong, you have a place, your voice will be heard, and you have value. And from myself and everybody else involved with the fan community, just one more time, you're not alone. Guys, thanks for hearing me out. And uh, again, I will do a pre recorded video on Monday, and then the John Campbell live show will return again on Tuesday. Be safe, be kind, and we'll talk to you guys later.